Hey, what up, decisive marketers? And in this video, we're gonna be talking about U Engage. U Engage is a form tool that you can use it to generate leads from quizzes, polls, uh, surveys, forms, uh, and what makes U Engage different from other form uh, tools out there is that they have an interactive uh, event. Uh, quiz feature right it's not not just a quiz but you can use it for uh, you know surveys as well right and uh, you can have it as an interactive uh, form similar to Kahoot where you can have a presentation view and your users can be on their mobile and uh, you know answering those quizzes okay so before we get started be sure to subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more digital marketing or e-commerce content and if you are a software or lifetime deal enthusiast be sure to check out the link in my video description to join our community right so let's get started with you engage right now i'm in you engage and uh, the plan that i have over here is the business plan which allows me to remove branding it uh, allows me to have custom domain and a few other features right so um let's dive into the form uh, tool over here so it's a very simple uh, form uh, that they have here that you can use it to create with many different form tools out there uh, you know such as uh, uh, block survey uh, fluent forms and uh, all the other different uh, form tools so over here we're going to use uh, the game of thrones right so let's try with the Game of Thrones uh, uh, project over here right so this is something that I've already done right so this is how it looks like and you can also uh, change the design okay so uh, you can uh, you can set for example uh, if it's a required uh, answer you can have different design you can have this kind of design for your form or survey or quiz or you can have it like this which is you know uh, and this like this as well similar to uh, similar design to something like type form right and you have the design this is where you set the design you can change the button colors and stuff like that and over here this is where you configure your uh, social shares meaning your open graph uh, images and uh, text over here that means the, the title and the description right any if you have the business plan like myself you can disable branding or if you want you can turn on branding and put in your own uh, affiliate link that allows you to then uh, help you engage get more customers while you also make some affiliate commissions as well right so the next one is the uh, language so they you are able to translate quizzes into these languages that they support right now right and custom variables these are where you set your custom variable uh, urls for tracking right so they uh, they work similar to like utm codes and uh, next is integration right so they have uh, these are the integrations that they have and they also have a webhook feature as well right so next is uh, distribute right uh, if I'm not uh, if I'm not mistaken right webhook is only available for like the professional uh, plan and above right professional plan and above uh, only custom domain is available for business plan so next is distribute so you can send the link to your quiz or via QR code or embedding them on your web page itself right and then the last one is the analyze feature where uh, the analyze uh, tab here uh, that tells you you know uh, a little bit more about how your quiz is performing right so this is where you uh, build your standard form right so the next one is uh, oh i forget to mention that uh, they also have uh, conditional logic so you can switch to logic and you can set the logic right so if for example uh, 
if the first question is someone answers he can't be then uh, he will be skipping the fourth question something like that so you can uh, set these uh, conditional logic with uh, you engage right so the next one is the one that we want to be talking about which is the interactive quiz feature so you can click on new event so Okay, so we are going to create a quiz here. We're going to call this Money Masters, right? So you can have different uh, kind of questions type question type over here. So let's say picture choice. You can then click, and the cool thing is that what they have here is a search in Google Images feature. So I can just search and pick a picture and insert it in very easily, right? So let's say the next one is a. Uh, Okay, so you put in this image over here and you can even show uh, a correct answer like this, right? And whether you want to show results as well. So show results is appearing on the presentation or the presenter uh, uh, screen, right? Okay, so you can put in description or you can put in a picture as well. Okay, and you can change the design like this as well. Right, so they have different uh, design, right, and then we can have a multiple choice over here, right, and then you can have uh, so let's let's uh, put in okay, and then. So let's have something like this. Okay. So, um, so what we're gonna do now is then move on to the. Uh, you can switch over to the design, so then you can change the design of uh, your form, and you can click on chat. Right. So the cool thing is that they have a chat feature while people are answering quizzes and stuff like that. Um, next is uh, you can set the message direction. And you can have a rounded or square avatars, and you can tweak the uh, design in here. So, for example, I want to have a grey, greyish design. Maybe have a white color here. Okay, and the text is white. Let's try a different background. Right, something like that. And there we go, right? So we will move on to the next one, which is configure. Uh, this is where you set the header, any header images. Uh, you can replace the header image with, uh, in fact, with a video as well. So let's say uh, I'm going to embed this video in here, right? So I can actually paste it in here like that. Okay, so then the uh, form is going to show as a <coughs> uh, as a, uh, it will show a, a video instead of the header images, right? And then how you want to rename your tabs here. So settings, if you want to allow people to change the answers, and if you're a lot of users, then you might want to turn this on as well. Uh, languages uh, this is pretty much the same as before then the last one is manage right so we are ready to kind of uh, go live with our interactive quiz over here <coughs> so let me paste this in and let me paste this in as well and all I need to do now is to turn it on right so there we go we have the event started just like this okay event just like that and they have a chat feature here right so they have a chat feature here okay right. so then we got the chat going on okay so uh 
you can turn on advanced if you want to show answers and maybe you want to stop accepting responses here okay and the last the next thing is that uh, if you switch this over to the chat mode okay and you go to chat uh, if I type in something right it's I can then see the chat moving in here and I can moderate the chat so like I could if someone says something inappropriate I could then block their messages right uh, hide their messages and uh, I can feature certain uh, uh, features certain uh, messages in here as well right so this is pretty much how the uh, U Engage works right and I kind of really like uh, what U Engage does uh, because it gives me an interactive uh, form that I can use it for my events I don't think I will get a lot of use out of it to be honest uh, because I don't use Kahoot that much but I think it will be useful when we organize certain uh, large scale events and uh, you know niche type of uh, large scale events and uh, we can add in certain quizzes and give certain prizes away I think that's very interesting um, I think what is missing with you uh, engage right now to be as good as a uh, something like Kahoot is that they need a countdown feature before a quiz starts right? a countdown feature countdown to the next question uh, elects um, uh, you know showing the showing the right answer uh, after the countdown um, uh, you know I think that's kind of what is is missing to get it really good and if they are able to also add in some uh, sound notification okay or even some music and that would be awesome right so this is kind of how it looks like right because if I turn on to the chat mode this is what it looks like right, and then this is the quiz mode so it's kind of uh, it's not as exciting as uh, Kahoot right now but uh, you know you are able to remove branding and stuff like that which uh, and, and you can use it as a normal form and also an interactive form so uh, I, I kind of like this and I think I'm gonna keep my business plan but I'm I'm really excited to see what's uh, what they'll bring uh, as uh, as the uh, progress as the uh, you know develop their tool even more right so i would love to see countdown features uh also a leaderboard would be nice as well so after every question you can show a leaderboard uh, who is the who is the top right so then you get people excited com and competing and uh, i think that's really nice so pretty much i think that's all for you engage if you like this video uh be sure to uh you know click that thumbs up button and share this video with your friends uh, if you have any questions feel free to comment uh, in my video and that's all I have uh, I'll see you in my next video